Welcome back to my channel. Um, I made a few updates to the wiring and uh, I'm going to go through those with you now. Uh, this is a power board for the Pixel. Here we need to add a capacitor. I'm told this is a very good idea. Um, this Pixel itself is a computer so it's very sensitive to the, the, the quality of the power supply um, and anything to do, this, to, to do with um, anything that helps isolate the power going to this unit and uh, keeps it uh, smooth and uh, clean and on voltage is good. So we're going to add a capacitor there. Um, I'm uh, waiting for the, to find out the, uh, the, the correct value of that capacitor. Also, the telemetry unit here, we're going to isolate the power supply onto a separate uh, BEC. This is just like a voltage regulator common in, in uh, modelling. Um, this BEC is deliberately separate from the motor BEC escape, uh, sorry, the um, electronic uh, speed controller, because this um, this one's prone to uh, voltage fluctuations as well on the 5 volts because it's got the, the, the load of the big motor on it. So it's better just to have one specifically for the uh, 5 volt devices. So also off this back, I'm powering the um, the plus and minus for the servos, and um, that's it. This receiver here is powered by the flight controller. Um, here we've got the only the PWM cable to the to the uh, electronic speed controller for the motor. On these two cables here, we're going to cut the minus, the ground rather, and the plus 5 volts because the power is coming in here from this spec. We're going to do the same on here as well for the same reason. The, this basically means the only thing drawing power from the um, flight controller is the, is the receiver, which needs a stable power supply. It's not something that, that suddenly draws more or less current and uh, that's it this this I've got this actually wired up like this and tested it and it's all working but um, now I've got to the, got the issue of getting everything to the aircraft which is proving a bit tricky because some of these cables aren't the right length and I'm still thinking how to solve that but um, soon we'll have the this equipment in the in the aircraft and you can see start to see how it, how it works thanks for watching the video uh, if you've got any questions, please post in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, share this. Thanks very much.